Hello friends, Sylvia here at Andy Art. I haven't been on YouTube for a very long time and apologize for that. In fairness, I have to say I focus on Instagram because it's just much quicker to do quick reels than the proper long video. So I owe you that definitely. So I'm here today to do like a demo painting for you with my printable um, collage sheets. So I put them up regularly in the shop and I just know sometimes we buy them because they're cute and we struggle how to use them. So today I show you how to create paintings with them, not only our journaling, but actually create the cute paintings. So these ones are the latest I added to the shop, super cute. The girls, you have little bits and pieces to add to the painting and I print them on matte photo, photo paper matte because the colors are really, really juicy. They print really well um, and they actually work really well with like glue or matte medium. I will be using also some collage papers, uh, bits and pieces I have flying around my studio, book pages and of course acrylic paints. Uh, maybe a little bit of some fabric, uh, inks, um, gesso, um, probably some crayons or whatever. It will help me to create um, a piece. So let's start. So here I will be using, starting with white acrylics. I'm using the wooden board. It's actually back of my <laughs> daughter's toy when she was small, the kind of wooden jigsaw board. Um, so starting with just applying uh, roughly some yellow um, acrylic paint, uh, just to cover the surface and have a bit of base color. Um, I'm using Catalyst Wedge here just to spread the paint a bit more. Um, I just like how the Catalyst Wedge leaves the really nice kind of marks on it. Now I will add another color, whilst this one is still wet, so I'm adding blue. Uh, also acrylic paint, trying to mix it up, um, everything, and just build the layers of uh, interesting paint texture. So I'll be switching from the brush to Catalyst Wedge just to have different strokes of um, painting tool on it. And then I'm adding some gouache. Actually, that's what I had on, on hand. So some green. So I kind of look at the elements I want to add so to it. I have them on the side to make sure that they match a bit of color. Um, so here is the acrylic inks by Prima and I love how transparent they are um, and how they blend with uh, paints also. Um, adding different shades of purple, blue and again mixing it up all with the wedge just to create a bit of um, kind of texture and interest to it. Sometimes I love using just fingers just to spread the paint around. And of course, my trusted alcohol inks, which I love. So a few splashes. I'll be using them later on also. So I'm just taking out excess of the ink. Um, I just love them because they create another really cool splashy effect. Um, there will be more inks and more. This one actually is a um, Golden Flow Acrylics, Crinacrum as a yellow gold, which I absolutely adore that uh, color. So just, because this color will be in the collage, uh, my collage sheets is coming up a lot. So I want to make sure I'm using similar color palette. Um, so I usually go with the darker corner in the painting. Very often you can see that in my painting. Adding some inks and spraying a bit of water to create some drips. We love drips. And they're adding more interest to it. Spreading some paint. 
I love how it contrasts with the blue actually. I think it works quite well together. And just playing with the paint again. Just messy, kind of love messy look and how everything blends and kind of creates the marks on the surface, drying a bit. And here I will be adding more white um, because we need always a contrast of white or dark colors. Um, because color sheets are really, really colorful, I need to just mute the background a bit. So it's kind of always going back and forth with dark paint, really light paint and layers of paint. That's where you create a really cool effect. And it's really good to uh, dry in between the layers. I think it's um, sometimes you can mix them together, but sometimes it's worth drying them in between. So not always you want that drying effect. Try to work with the light <laughs> a little bit. Uh, adding more alcohol inks, um, just in color of purple, so it stands out from the background. Um, and just trying to get more. I just looked at the collage sheets I'll be using. There is some yellow in them, so I said I'll add that bit of sunshine to the painting. Um, and that's again acrylic uh, paint by Prima. That's a flow acrylic paint, liquid one. Um, they really have a, this a little bit of transparent effect, which I like. And acrylic pink, acrylic inks again. I love that's like a neon pink. I uh, love that color, really pops. Uh, I use that a lot in my paintings. And a little bit of golden again, that crinacrum uh, as a yellow gold. As I really want to have that a bit of darker corner. But as you can see at the bottom, I'm using the same color. So just to have a balance on the canvas to use that color through whole canvas, whole canvas I'm calling, but it's a, it's a wooden board. Again, a bit of white there. It's actually coming up nicely. It's a bit crazy, but that's okay. Love the dots and just for the contrast with that kind of um, orangey brown color, the blue will stand out. And just drying again to make sure it doesn't smudge everything. So here I added also a bit of more white. I decided to add more white and more alcohol inks um, just to create that light really light uh, center of the painting. So I'm putting matte medium now. So I can add my collage pieces. So I'm starting with a uh, vintage tissue paper. They give this really nice kind of vintage brown look do it. So just make sure you have not too hard the brush so it doesn't tear it. Then some pieces of book pages which um, they are kind of collage book pages so they have some color on them. Um, I'm adding a little bit to the corner also and this is from that my oops that's what I said sometimes it tears but it's okay. So this is from my collage sheets I printed I showed you in the beginning. I just love using scallops. That's the common theme in my paintings. This is little rice paper piece from AB Studio, which I really like because it really kind of blends with the painting. It's so thin. And adding a, a collage piece from printables, uh, from my Tandy Art printables to the corner, just to give that a little bit of interest and more book pages with some paint on it and more collage sheets little house again from the elements from that the same page so I'm using um, those elements from one page really and the girl I love her I love the little kind of um, hair design on her 
again a more tissue paper tissue paper is brilliant because it really sink into the background you just see little designs so even you can pick up in your local store you know for like packing the presents and stuff so i always am um, hunting for the different patterns on tissue paper they're brilliant for collage trying to play with composition so if you see the girl is placed bish kind of on one third from the um kind of off the center definitely from the bottom so if you kind of divide it maybe into three the painting it's kind of that focus um off the center definitely so adding matte medium i'm using this matte medium all the time you can also use gel medium no problem at all or mod pouch um just to make sure it sticks to the surface very very well just playing with the composition i like that flower because it's the theme which is in her hair so i just repeat that somewhere at the painting to have to be have more cohesive look so i think that would be it a little bit of again blue tissue paper this kind of teal it's lovely look at how it gives a little of like blobs of color in places but it's also translucent so you can see a bit of paint under it so i absolutely love this just regular tissue wrapping tissue paper and it gives so much more interest to your backgrounds as you can see with those collage paint collage pieces you can really create amazing painting just to have a you can even have really simple background just with paints and just add those elements just make sure you connect them together that they are not you know kind of spread out here i'm adding tiny bit of stencils uh, just to add a bit of white remember to have some white and some black as well in your painting which gives a bit of balance and and contrast just random randomly you probably should use uh, better tools i wonder if you can hear the birds behind me or my kids screaming in the background it's really hard for me to record the whole video wrong long video because they keep keep on coming in and out people in my house so but yeah we'll, we're almost there so trying to find pip artist pen i use that for a little bit of shading just if i want to highlight some of the elements and the beauty of them is that they kind of move around until they go dry when they dry out when they're dry they're permanent but when they're not dry you can kind of uh, spread them a bit which is lovely lovely quality i absolutely love them just make sure the painting is quite dry because if the paint can destroy them of course and caran uh some pastels just here and there adding a little bit more color you can constantly playing with you know different materials and stuff um so just a bit of color here and there and so sometimes you need to highlight some elements and then come down the other background uh, so again i'm adding now a little bit of more darker just to stand just to kind of stand, make the girl stand out a bit even even a bit more even though i think those big, big black eyes <laughs> make her stand out but just a little bit of shading around her not too much needed to be honest because my elements are usually very colorful um so they don't need much i think that background is already too crazy <laughs> so even if you place it on white they will still good look good so it's so worth it because you can print it from your house and you don't need super amazing printer you just print on any regular printer what's the key is the the paper get the good quality paper and makes such a difference photography paper is brilliant uh i uh, use the i guarantee you they are in very high resolution they are really vibrant the photo i'm taking of them or scan so they're in, in really good quality so once you have a good paper you can absolutely print them out and look there's no cost of shipping i'm so heartbroken of, over the raising cost of shipping that uh, i really wish it was more affordable to ship to all of you 
especially you know states australia it's so expensive from europe and i know some of you are you know sending me messages saying that and i know that and my heart is breaking that's why i came up with the whole idea of digital collage sheets because you can make it create your own pieces from your home and you can print them out or even go to the little place where you print them out will be much cheaper probably than the shipping cost and once again the paper even you can print them on watercolor paper and they will have this watercolor look which is really really cool just make sure you have not too thick one because it's hard for the printer to go through but i swear by any matte photography paper colors are fantastic because if you print a regular printing paper they will be a bit kind of pastely but the photography paper makes so much difference um adding still some inks here and there a bit of white and black as you can see she has those similar pattern in her hair so i'm just wanna, gonna repeat it in the in the painting um so it just stands out and makes that cohesive look so whatever it's going on around the girl and putting in different places um in the painting and just scribble here and there so i put the links below at the video of all two links to my shop have a look i have i think around 170 different digital sheets some of them in the little packs and adding some dots with um posca mm, pens here and just even make it the eyes even darker i love dots so this is actually cool posca really thick round uh, dot pen and i think she's pretty finished and my trusty which i absolutely love it's like a uh, little content you put the paint inside white paint like a pen and you can put any color inside and just to add like a written handwriting thing to the paintings i love it um so you can just journal with it and i think she is pretty finished look at this just with collage sheets a bit of paint ink splashes here and there and it's this amazing painting. It's brilliant to give it to someone, you know, and put it in your kid's room. And really fun project to do with your kids also. Um, so I hope you love it.